Okay. Is my mic on? Yes. Okay. We're That's live with episode 86 of Nansen Office Hours. Uh, we've got a very special episode today because we're going to be looking at our brand new release, Nansen Portfolio. Uh, to do this, I have got Mike with me. Uh, so we're going to be looking at how you can uh, use Nansen Portfolio and the run through of all of it. Uh, so yeah, GM, everyone. And before we start, make sure you drop your GMs in the chat. Uh, just give me one second. Uh, and yeah, before we start, if you're new to any Office Hours episodes, uh, we every Wednesday we do a Nansen and Chill session. We go over new features. We answer questions from you guys and hopefully provide some alpha leaks. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, turn notifications on uh, so you don't miss any future alpha. Uh, we're going to have Nansen Unsupervised on Friday with a Nansen Power Users, really, really exciting one actually, has a very interesting story. Uh, and if you'd like to try Nansen, you can sign up to Nansen Lite below. Or of course, if you want to try Nansen Portfolio, we also got the link there uh, as well. So Mike, let's do a quick introduction of you uh, and how you ended up creating 8Board. Um, yeah, sure. Um, firstly, first of all, like excited to be on uh, Office Hour with the legendary Nansen intern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so how it's come like from creating 8Board is like I actually like way early on on to be uh, I'm kind of like a multi chain legends. Like I start like my crypto journey since. 2018 and have been like uh, very early on in the development of DeFi, like starting from Uniswap and like I was like, I still remember the day I kind of like found uh, farming comp on when Compound do like the kind of the first like you farming and when the sushi come, yeah, I, I wouldn't miss that jam and like all the stuff, right? <laughs> I am still, um, yeah, kind of like DeGen early on and then it when BSD start to come and um, I, like Antura and Solana start coming. Yeah, I, I see a lot of people kind of like cheating on like the new chain. So I mean, like most of the, well, most of the stuff on CT is like way, like I would say like eat maximalist and eat base and they kind of cheat on like BSC and stuff. They didn't think it's going to be growing this, this big as like right now, but like I kind of like step in onto like the BSC on a like way, very early day, just because I'm just curious in general like how the new blockchain is going to like compared to it. Would I like the experience there? So I just like use a couple of the apps there and I feel, hey, uh, this is actually usable. And and yeah, and I, I kind of like, um, yeah, I started to start like using on those chain, like mostly BSC uh, and Terra and so on uh, early on. And I just like, so kind of like um, ask my friends or, or like kind of like invite my friend to like, who want to get into DeFi to just like start using uh, those chain. And well, yeah. And back then I was using like DBank on Sapper to track my own wallets. And, um, but like it didn't answer like uh, kind of, it's only support ETH. And I was like, well, like I, most, most of the stuff I farm on is like on other like new chain and also like very new DGEN protocol as well. So I kind of like want to write like a, of kind of like what Pablo tracker to track my own stuff. Uh, yeah. So back then I was like, I think like farming on like 30 protocol on four chains. And I had to spend almost like 30 minutes every single day locking all my position. You know, like how it's going. Like you open a lot of websites for uh, each protocol you use, track down like the, okay, I have like this much in protocol A, this much in protocol B, whatsoever. I do this every day for 30 minutes and I think it's too much. So I guess kind of like, a, I, I have a development background, so a uh, software engineering background. So what I did is I, I just wrote a script to like automate this on my own. So that's the first version of 8Board. And actually the, the fun fact is that the Red Bull name that I use, I didn't have an, any other name. The first Red, uh, Red Bull I opened up for doing this, the name is 8Board, it's already there. The first person at 8Board is just like call my live script. I just like run it and it's give me like the, the overall summary of my whole portfolios. And then like my, um, I start showing this to, to like my friend and families. And then the, uh, my co-founder joined in and he's like, hey, it's actually a good idea. So he kind of wrote the front end uh, based on the code that I have. So then we have like kind of like first version of 8Board and then we kind of like share like with friends and families here, um, to be it's it's act it was actually like the first multi-chain portfolio tracker. I, I can claim that 
for a month <laughs> before like Bank and Sapphire was adding like um, BSC. Yeah, but like we 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 aim to be like a multi chain for <clears throat> uh, from the start. Yeah, and yeah, that's that that's how it started. And then we we start I start sharing like the the website airport the finance with friends and families here in uh in Thailand. And then it's kind of like go uh so it's kind of like spread like globally after that. And we decide hey if we want to do this full time, it's uh, so much fun to interact with our customer and like our customer, uh, our user kind of suggest like, hey, which, this new farm they're farming on, can you add this? And uh, it's so much fun doing that. So then we, we kind of found a company and that's became uh, a, bo- a board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It became like <laughs> one of the top five or top three biggest portfolio trackers, right? Am I right saying that? Yeah, it's become, uh, in terms of traffic, we are on the top three. Yeah. Wow. Like, say, yeah, we super are, impressive. I think like we stick into like Sapper on that. Yeah. Mm. So why uh, did 8Board and you, of course, uh, feel like you were like ready to combine with Nansen? Yeah, um, I think like the popular tracker space was very competitive from like being uh, in the space for over a year. Uh, and I, I think like what, what we, most of the, uh, what people for uh, for those in popular tracker, what they gonna know it's like it's a free tool and it's very hard to like monetize based on those you see like a uh, sapper uh, they they did kind of the fee uh things on when you, if you like provide lp or you swap on like sapper that's only kind of like, uh, kind of like extra sapper fee and that's what we take by the community i it's um to be honest like i think i feel it makes sense for a sapper to do that because they well they have to kind of they provide an alternate ui and they they want to kind of like monetize on, on that and the infra cost for doing popular tracker is um it's a lot <laughs> you have to run the node for um it the blockchain node for almost all of the chain you supported so it's a lot and you do the QE on behalf of a lot of users so that's uh, there's cost behind a lot of cost behind that as well so I kind of understand that point of view and yeah the the space is very community and uh, we we feel that like hey um we 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 need to kind of like uh, do the um, kind of merger with like someone uh, who kind of on the opposite side, like not like on the popular tracker, kind of like we want kind of like a, a partner that can enrich the um, the popular tracker with like, let's say more information, more like deeper analysis for the popular tracker. Uh, for example, like a, most of the popular tracker do support like the snapshot query so it's get to a snapshot of the the current snapshot of your popular on the chain right but what if we uh can do more than that we can provide like historical data we can provide like more analysis on your pnl something like that and that's where like um where nelson came in like with the all the chain data that store and uh, we can like query those and that's that's why we we decide like hey we need to we need a a, a partner in in doing this to take to take the popular to another level let's just say like, provide a snapshot but provide more in-depth information that um uh that can kind of enrich this experience further than being just like a popular tracker yeah that's why we like mm-hmm. decide hey it might be a lot better if we like work on this together yeah yeah, I think it's like really exciting for me as well, because like you can combine kind of finding people on Nansen uh, and then like tracking them across all chains on portfolio. So, for instance, uh, we're going to go through like the actual product in a second. But I remember I often look at like obviously Nansen all the time. <laughs> and uh, I think I've mentioned it in an episode before. People like Tetranode are like all over chain. So it's not only just on Ethereum, they trade on everything. Um, so how do you quickly look at like what they're trading on um, and like their positions in DeFi? That's why portfolio is so, so amazing. And I think we're all like really, really excited for it. And it's free, completely free. And this amazing product. And like we can then integrate Nansen data into it as well, like the wallet profiler. Um, so shall we go through, Mike, if your screen is ready, um, kind of like the user flow uh, for someone who wants to start using portfolio. So like how they can use it, why you'd use it, and why it is so amazing. Okay, so I will show your okay. screen if you're ready. Yeah. Sure, um, okay. let's go ahead. 
Here we go. Yeah. So um, yeah, this is how gonna it's gonna be look like like when you first came in uh, onto like the offload that Nancy that AI. It's just like very very simple. Like what you can do. Uh, first thing is like uh, you can um, kind of like search for like any um, people address here. That's like uh, the kind of default feature of like uh, most popular tracker supported. Let's say I like, search on this address, right? Then you can see like, hey, uh, what's uh, what's the position of this wallet like, right? So what we provide extra uh, kind of like different, yeah. So this is most of, mostly this is like a uh, kind of like standard for most of the popular tracker. But what we kind of like feel like it's helpful and what we also want to focus on is more on like the analysis here. We provide kind of like a chain allocation in percentage here. You can view all like uh, the <coughs> the breakdown uh, on the address here. Yeah, like we provide like a uh, like asset word over time, so you you, you can see like oh what's uh, uh, more of like the analysis thing uh, thingy mm -hmm. there. Yeah, and also like you can see like uh, some your past transaction. Like we uh, yeah we, we provide like the kind of like the combination of of all the, the shared here, right? Because like no, mm -hmm. normally like it you start to see like more more behavior of people not trading on a single chain. So we kind of like do the transactions so in combined. So you can see all like your transaction that uh, happen on every chain uh, at the sing uh, at a single point. Yeah, but yeah, uh, Mike, could a, I just a, 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 I just mention? Sure. Uh, could you just zoom in a bit? Because I think it's quite small on oh, the recording. So if yeah. okay, if you zoom okay, in on okay. the page, perfect. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Would would this look better? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and uh, just to give you a tease, so we actually have some idea on like improve the transaction history here. I I think like we can make it more of like a cost uh more readable like um. Because, well, like a uh, popular tracker is kind of more of like a kind of, uh, it's very similar to like a, a wallet, right? It's kind of like a, the, the tool that a lot of people need to use. And uh, a lot, if you want to bring more people onto DeFi or more to like on Web3, I think this is a must that we improve the UX of uh, Web3 and we, we aim to do that. We, we aim to like simplify transaction history to make it like easier to read, easier for people to understand. Yeah? And what's, that's what we aim to like improve in, in, in this case. Yeah, um, that's uh, popular where you can view most of like all your uh, DeFi positions uh, with transactions where you can see like the whole um, like transaction on every chain here combined. We have the analytics tab here. This is helped you and it's helped me a lot. Like uh, personally, I use it to kind of like rebalance my holding. So if you have like a to token allocation, right? And say, hey, something is like, <coughs> oh, sorry, yeah. I hold like this token too much. Maybe I just have to like rebalance it. Yeah, I I use this like actually all the times. Yeah, and also like a protocol location where you can see, hey, uh, I have this much on this protocol. Maybe I should like diversify a bit. Yeah, that's like the analytic tab that you provide, and like come to the um kind of like a uh, one here. So it's a wallet profiler. So wallet profiler is a feature that we add here, but you couldn't see it uh, now. You need to connect your wallets onto that, yeah. So basic portflow feature, that's, uh, that can be accessed by any address, but if you want like a uh, kind of like deeper analysis uh, uh, of your wallet profiler, then you need to like connect the, uh, connect the account uh, with this. Mm -hmm. And then this is kind of like a special one here. So uh, shall we try? Yeah, if, the Mike, account? if we go back, yeah, if we go back first sure. um, and just go on the yeah. portfolio tab, um, yep. So if you click on portfolio, there's these arrows that you don't uh, see at first. So oh, there, there you go. Yeah. So we have more data, yeah, that you can then have a look at. So I think oh, yeah, yeah. for one that's really interesting is like performance versus uh, Bitcoin and ETH. Mm. I think it was the one before that. Oh one. yeah, um, yeah. So I, you can you, see how you said how, yeah, how your yeah. portfolio is like uh, performing versus them, which I thought is really helpful. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I see. Like, if you just like simply hold ETH right, compared mm -hmm. to um, your popular, how how it's gonna look like? Are you like smart than like just simply holding Bitcoin or ETH? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I also like that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and yeah, so so that's a view of when you want to view and 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 just a single address, right? But mm -hmm. like, what we provide, like when you connect the wallet. So I'm just gonna connect uh wallet here. Um, so let's. Yeah, so you can like uh, create like the um, oh, I have to switch a little bit. Yep. Okay. 
uh, yeah, yeah. For example, like uh, you hold like uh, so yeah, that's a kind of like a kind of like your personal view once you sign in, right? So what you can do is you can create a lot of pop flow to track. You can like create this kind of like pop flow to track like other people or like famous wallet pop flow. You can track like Twitter node pop flow, like the James button pop flow, just like uh, create a pop flow to track the address here. So this is kind of like your personal view of like, oh, hey, I want to track like this address, for example, right? And, uh, and, and then like you can just like select the pop flow that you want to see. Um, for example, I track this this one here. Yeah, so you can see like what this wallet is is holding. Uh, basically, yeah, yeah. And uh, here's a Bitcoin BSD ten. This might look better than the previous one. Yep. And and yeah, for yes, yeah, for if you lock if you lock in with the the MetaMask, right? So so you can only view like the wallet profiler for your own address. So if this is your address, then you can verify it. And then, like, we're gonna show you all the data here. Um, uh, or you, if you are already Nansen subscriber, you can just like simply log in with your uh, Nansen account, and then um, it's gonna be uh, you can view like uh, almost everything that uh, that available in Poplo. Let's see for uh, this one here. Um, yeah, for for this one here, that's a uh, so you can click the wallet profiler, you kind of like get the same view that you already have on Nansen's, like all the labels here, related wallets, incoming ETH, right? So if you are a Nansen subscriber, you can see all this information uh, on Portflow the same way that you have on, on Nansen. Uh, but if you're not a Nansen subscriber yet, you can view like this information for your own address, right? So you can just like simply um, here, you can kind of like AI hey, want to verify this address here. For example, here, let me show you. It's uh, pretty quick to verify. So it's just a click, hey, I uh, want to verify this address. You can sign with like MetaMask, Coinbase, Wallet Connect, yeah, whatsoever. And then the address verify. Then we know uh, this address is yours. And then you have like all the net, all the wallet profiler and more in-depth analysis available for those particular address, yeah. So basically the whole tool is free. Uh, and it's uh, and you can get in depth information about your own address. Of course, if you like verify that it's your own address, yeah. Or if you sub on uh, a sub on Nas, then you have access to everything basically. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, let's have a look at, or I can ask you. So, is there like potential sure, yeah. future updates? Um, updates that you think will be coming um, to portfolio? Have we got ideas already that like ways we want to improve it? Uh, and stuff like that. Is there anything in the works? Yeah, uh, we do actually. So what's uh, in the work, like uh, the one that I, I teased you earlier, uh, is about like the trust and history, right? So you can, if you want to read it here, right? You can read it like, oh, okay, uh, transaction here. What's the date and what's the interaction is received this much of the, um, and there's this probably spam token, but uh, you, you can you can kind of like what we try to do is we kind of want to translate this in more of like the uh, English style. So you you want we want it as like think about it as like it's kind of, kind of locking, right? It's just like <coughs> you you can see kind of like hey I uh, this address received this much from um, this you uh, you approve these tokens uh, for something like that you deposit. Uh, this token to Alpaca Finance, something like that. Kind of like we want to, the first thing that we want to release is kind of like translate this transaction history into English, so it's easier for um, user to be able to see and understand what this address we're doing. So that's the first thing that we we are working on. Yeah, and uh, the second thing that we are actually working on is to because like we mostly focus on DeFi and. Uh, we, but like we also have the capability of uh, NFT uh, from Nansen as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like the N NFT analytics uh, for wallets here uh, as a tab as well. So you, if this wallet uh, kind of trade NFT, then you can see most of the stuff you see at Nansen, like uh, the real, the 
what NFT that are they're holding, and what's a kind of like trade history of this uh, NFT in this wallet, and also kind of like realize profit, realize gain. I think like uh, personally, I think like Nansen have the uh, is the uh, like kind kind of like provide like really really good and in depth analytics on the NFT trading there, and so we kind of port that over there uh, for here as well, and then. Uh, as I said earlier, if you own that wallet and you verify the wallets here, then you can have that da- uh, that data available for you. Yeah. So kind yeah. of read about transaction histories and then like the NFT tab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was thinking like what we could do actually. So if I share my screen, sure. Uh, wait one yeah. second, everyone. Okay. So I was thinking. So if you're someone who uses um, Nansen already. How can then you like level up your experience? Or if you're someone who uh, is just new to Nansen portfolio and wants to see like how you could then um, level up your experience as well by using Nansen. So if I give you an example, so I'm sorry, 9x9, but for some reason his wallet always sticks in my head. Um, So if you like found someone like 9x9x9 um, and then you found like their portfolio was like of interest to you, as you'll probably find out, they have a lot of money if I typed it in right. Um, so if you found that like they were transacting in an interesting way um, and there were some tokens or something that you found interesting, yeah, I was thinking it's a lot more <laughs> than it showed initially. Um, so you could find, okay, so what are they trading? Um, if they're doing something that you find like of interest or they're trading in size, um, you might be like interested in then finding out about who this person is or like the actual tokens that they are then trading. So if I sign in, hopefully I will sign in. A little show actually, we have a discount going on. Uh, Good that it showed that. Okay, so what you can then do, uh, don't need this, I use it a lot. Okay, so you can go on like token god mode or and find like the token of interest. So let's say most of these are pretty boring uh, that we just wrap D from whatever. but let's say you find some like token. I'll just give you an example. Let's just put uni. Like, let's say you see someone trading a lot of uni or whatever. You can then go on Nansen, go on token god mode and start doing further research into it. Uh, so you can see like latest DEX trades, the biggest transactions, who's transacting it, all of this. Uh, you can see the biggest holders. Is the distribution good? So does like one party hold a lot of the token, anything like that? Uh, we have tons of data uh also like smart money holders so i believe not a ton oh no a lot do hold a uh, union has been pretty stable which is a good sign so there's various things that you can do uh so you can either look at like tokens or you could find that like you're really interested in this address and you want to do like a further deep dive into it uh so the screen is very small so wish me luck on copying this <laughs> Uh, one second. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, I can only zoom on the page. But let's say, oh, no, we can't do that. If you find the wallet address, then you just go on to, so I can do it a different way. Go on to wallet profiler here, or of course, on your portfolio side as well. Uh, you can put in the address here. <clears throat> so if I find just a random one to show you quickly. Let's go on to this person. So let's say you found this person on portfolio and I'll show you vice versa as well. Um, Then you can have a look at like further things such as their activity, the days of the week they trade, the hours of the day, this person potentially, I don't know, I can't work out in my head what country that'd be. Uh, But if they're inactive here, you can find like probably someone from America or whatever like that. Uh, you can look at their counterparties, who they've traded with, everything. So in summary, you can then use like what you find on portfolio in terms of the addresses or the tokens. We we have multi-chain data, so we have all of these uh, that, that you can then just plug the data in and find out more. And then equally, if you're a big Nansen user and you find someone who's really interesting, like this guy or girl, um, you can then copy the address and put it in here. We want to zoom out of it now, one second. And we can find out, are they actually interesting or not? Let's see. 
Okay, so this person pretty much solely trade. Oh no, it's updating. Oh, it's quite an interesting one. Okay, so this person trades eighty five percent on Ethereum, uh, and then we've got nine percent on Polygon. So you can then see what they hold. So they hold this token Noo. I have no idea what that is, uh, but they've got quite a lot, hundred thousand of it. Yeah. Do you know that? Might be the scam. No idea. Might be oh, a scam that... one. Yeah. So, might so be a scam. Might be a, a not 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 a scam, but a, a spam token. You you know, like you spam often receive token. like yeah, some something like uh, maybe like hey Telegram te token with like some Telegram na name <laughs> something like that. A lot of notable wallet like also receive that. Yeah. So we actually yeah. working on that so, as well, like to to help you with a spam token. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like this token hopefully isn't so I feel like I've heard this. So again, yeah, you can just yeah. see, yeah, chain allocation, how much of it they hold, uh, how they're performing versus ETH. So this person is not doing as well as ETH, <laughs> uh, which is interesting. Um, if we go across, you can show their daily profit and loss. So the last few days, they've been losing quite a lot. And then a few days before that, they were making quite a lot. So all of these things you can use as signal. Is this person consistently making um, daily profit? They might be someone of interest. Is this someone that like, if you're interested in Ethereum, but you want to branch out into other chains, are they someone you can like take inspiration from, I guess, um, in terms of what tokens they're looking at and all of this. Um, let, what else have we got here? Like asset worth performance as we just showed profit yeah. and loss cumulative profit and loss yep yeah i actually like forget to tell you about one thing it's like about like the bundle yep. wallets right the bundle wallet oh, right? of course, yeah. Soon, soon, yeah so actually now people not yeah um can you try clicking the uh, popular one? Oh, actually like uh, maybe I, I show you a screen it might be better yep yeah i'll swap okay. with you one second swap to my screen okay okay here we go yep um yep um okay let me I'll call a bit go on like this appears here okay so yeah uh so so oh wait oh it's wrong one um switch to this here Okay, yeah. So yeah, I, I think like a peep, uh, so so nowadays like people kind of like use a lot of like uh, different wallets and yeah. For example, like uh, here, it's a uh, kind of like the combined view of the wallets, right? So this one is like actually uh, how it used to be treasuries. <laughs> There's not a lot of money there, <laughs> uh, but like that's a combined like the Terra address together with like the E and BSC address together. So one capability of that, that like we are very different from other portfolio tracker is we also support like the EVM and non EVM chain as well. So we also like support Terra, Solana along with together with all the EV, all your favorite EVM chain. So we support over like 40, uh, almost like more than 40 chains. Yeah, and we have like a Bitcoin, Cardano, a lot of Cosmos chain uh, over there as well. Yeah, so yeah, so you have ability to view like uh, your EVM wallet together with the non EVM one uh, <clears throat> in one view as well. So that's like kind of like if you also a, a Solana user, you are also like a let's say an Ethereum user and you also like Cosmos user, you can just uh, combine like all your wallet together. For example, here, right, you can also add um, a wallet address here. Let me try like adding some Cosmos address over. Uh, so simply just uh, plug in the, the Cosmos address, right? Then we show A as a Cosmos address. So we add it over there. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, it should load like the Cosmos protocol over there. Yeah. And you have like access to the holding on your, uh, on, on the cost on your Cosmos wallet over there. Yeah. So that's, uh, if you are like a multi-chain user, we'd be geared to a lot of our user, uh, uh, kind of like a explorer on this, like the new multi-chain we also, uh, support that as well and uh, uh, personally I use this daily because <laughs> like I farm on mm -hmm. so many different chains yeah are we quite unique as well Mike like in terms of uh, Bitcoin yeah. uh, for Bitcoin like I swear yeah. not many portfolio trackers uh, track on Bitcoin mm. yeah yeah Bitcoin is actually very challenging yeah I would say as of I know like uh, we kind of like, mm -hmm. kinda like uh, 
multi chain popular. We I think we only want to support Bitcoin. Bitcoin is pretty unique, like keep track to be honest. Because like you know, like uh, that's like UTXO transactions, right? If you transfer stuff, then you address kind of chain. Yeah, it's that's that kind of like very hard to to do. And uh, yeah, we we still need to improve on that. But like now, if you kind of like simply holding Bitcoin like a rock in your wallet and you're not transferring, you just like, keep holding, then you can track that easily. Just put the Bitcoin address over there. We support like the the um the sec the native segwit segwit like the way O one and the uh, the B the BC one address. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think because we're going to have like a mini episode anyway, because I know you're doing a cool after this. But I was just going to show a few more things that I thought were interesting. If you just give me one second, of course. I'll just put my sure. screen on. OK, so other things that I think we could cover um, is, oh, we don't want that. Well, we do want that, actually. But so if we go on protocols, you might have had a look at it anyway, but I'll just like reinforce it. So we this shows all of the protocols that we've got, which is tons uh, which is super super impressive um so you pretty much have everything and we update really regularly um which is also amazing um and so we'll update on the portfolio twitter account so you can find out like what ones we're adding and yeah the eight board which is now portfolio team does an amazing amazing job on like doing this really quickly um this is just your portfolio page if you find any bugs i will mention we have this bug report here uh, which is really helpful for us because uh, I'm sure we want as much feedback as we can. We want to improve. So if you spot anything, um, just head over to this bug report page. Uh, you just fill in the details and hopefully we will fix it. Um, yeah, we actually yes, fix that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we actually fix that daily. And uh, let's say if you plug, if you like use a, use uh, Nancy Popular and some protocol doesn't show up or like some new line is missing, like feel free to uh please please and do kind of like uh, uh help us like report the bugs right uh like we manage over like four hundred protocol and uh, you know like all those protocol has some update and we want to keep up with that so we actually we did like go through that bug report to update and uh fix your bugs daily mm -hmm. so yeah so if you report it next day it should be fixed yeah. Yeah, which is amazing. And of course, yeah, you can reach out on Twitter if you find something and then yeah. we will try uh, and fix it as well. Um, but yeah, just I think everyone just explore it, have a lot of fun with it. I find it really, really interesting, especially like partnered with the Nansen um, app, like I mentioned. Um, and I should also show uh, we have a discount on at the moment up to 40 percent off, which is really amazing uh, on all of the actual like Nansen plans, Nansen subscription plans. So go and make use of that because we don't do many sales. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, and then, yeah, just try it out for yourself. Try maybe uh, uh, using Nansen and Portfolio or just Portfolio um, and see what you think. Let us know your feedback. I'm sure we're going to be adding a lot of things. Oh, actually, Mike, uh, we on 8Board, you had like an 8Board bridge, right? Is that planned oh, yeah, uh, to be added in? Yeah, that's uh that's our plan. Yeah, it's uh it's actually a tool for yeah for for those who mm -hmm. haven't used the bridge before. It's a tool like say if you want to bridge from chain A to chain B, right? Which bridge you can use? What's the fee? Something like that. It's just like a kind of like a, a directory. I would say phone books. I don't think people use phone books <laughs> now today, but like well, kind of like a, a directory for you to see uh which bridge to use, and then you decide what to use. I think like I I. Personally, we did a lot of bridge, like to, to go uh, across on this chain, and uh, it was useful if like we share that experience with anyone, uh, with with others, so they don't have to like try like search for which bridge to use on their own. Yeah, yeah. But we we gonna port that over um, probably next month. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So sooner than you'd expect, which is the theme. We're very quick. It seems like to get everything up. Um, so yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Is there anything else you wanted to add, Mike? I know we wanted to keep this like concise and just portfolio focus, but yeah. Yeah. Just like, uh, please try it out. And, uh, if you find mm -hmm. any bugs on and anything like we are here who like, uh, support you, we want your like DeFi journey to be as like smooth as possible. And uh, we saved you a lot of time. Like it saved me a lot of time to track, <laughs> to use like popular to track my own as well. So I want to be the same uh, for. So hope we can do the same for you as well. Yeah, just mm. if you file the bugs. Please report. We fix it daily uh, for you, and that's gonna be valuable for for the team and for everybody as well. Yeah.
Yeah. Okay, so if you want to try portfolio, uh, we've got the link in our bio. What's the link? Portfolio.nansen.ai. Um, yeah, try it out. Like we've said, make, sure you make use of the discount on uh, Nansen, which won't be here for long. I should know the end date. I think it's sometime next month. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, reach out to the portfolio account or the intern account. Uh, someone says, is the Doge chain available? That will be very quick. Is it, Mike? Okay. Challenge accepted? Yeah, we try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, challenge accepted. We'll try and get that on. Um, so yeah, feedback, any questions, reach out to us on Twitter or do the bug report. Um, let us know, good or bad, if you like it. We'll try and run some competitions and stuff as well. Um, Daniel Ku, who works for us, says, can we see Mike's wallet? You don't want to dox your wallet. That's an evil please, question. Please now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, make sure you subscribe. We got the Nights on Unsupervised on Friday. Um, so hopefully you'll be there for that and I will see you then. Um, and yeah, portfolio link, Nance and Light link in the bio. That is it. Thank you so much, Mike, for coming. And yes, yeah, have a good day. As well. Yeah. Yeah. Have a nice one, guys. Bye.